more people having to spend time in their homes, uh, you don't want to be uncomfortable. And of course, it's going to be that much more of a problem if you are, right? Well, we're talking to WireNet Home Services this morning about why now is the best time to install air conditioning in your home. Trent Urban is with us. How are you, Trent? Great. Thanks for having me. Of course, very happy to have you. But this is true. We don't want to be uncomfortable in the home. We got to make sure that home is taken care of. And now we're heading into warm weather. Why is this a good time? Uh, well, I mean, just like the uniqueness of what we're doing today, I'm sitting in my dining room. So <laughs> if I was uncomfortable, it would be just that much bigger of an issue. Um, you know, it's Colorado. It's spring. We never know what we're getting in, you know, during spring. Yesterday, I was out on the deck. It was nice. Today, it's snowy outside. So... Mm -hmm. um, as that warmer weather comes up and surprises us, even with the whole COVID thing, we're going to have actually a lot of pent up demand, a lot of people that delayed it, and it's actually going to end up, you know, overstraining schedules. We've actually seen pieces of that already, even with all of this going on. I can certainly understand what you're saying. Now, as we head into summer, what is this going to look like for you guys? Um, I think it's going to be similar to what happened in the housing uh, market, you know, after they stopped building houses for so many years. Now there's just a shortage. So we're going to see that in a more of a short time frame right after uh, the COVID, you know, season is over, if you will. And uh, we've actually already seen it. We've seen slowdowns from manufacturers on you know, HVAC equipment, electrical equipment. We're seeing shortages on our schedules. You know, we're, believe it or not, we're slam busy and it's just going to get actually worse after everything else. You know, you bring up a good point, and this time is certainly difficult for a lot of people, but it's also a time when you've mm -hmm. got to start thinking about the future and why sometimes it's better to act now. You're talking about equipment shortages. Well, that's a little concerning. What does that say to customers? What, do, what should that say to customers out there? Um, the natural, you know, sequence of, co of supply and demand. So, you know, if the supply is down and the demand is high, then you're going to have issues getting in. Honestly, there's going to be people this season that if they're looking to get AC, for example, installed, they're probably not going to get in on the schedule. It's just going to be too slammed up. And um, it's just, you know, the, what's happening is typically we'll have people buying those type of products right now, the early adopters. And we do have some of those, but there's going to be more of them that are delayed and they're going to go into the regular season. That regular season is then going to carry into the late adopters and we're, there's going to be some people that just don't get AC or they're having it done in December. And that's a little bit more of a struggle when you're dealing with putting AC outside when it's snowy. Absolutely. So, and it's one so. of those things that uh, sometimes we may take for granted. Don't get to that yeah. situation where you're left without AC or heating if it should go all the way into the winter. Um, Trent, I yeah. want to talk to you about the uncertainty that people are having right now, because I do kind of feel that that maybe makes them not think so much about the essential things at home. But you yeah. guys are doing everything you can to provide them with that security. You guys are also taking care of your staff along with the customers. We are, yeah. Since the beginning, um, as soon as the CDC uh, announced their standards, you know, their expectations for how to handle this cleanly or correctly, we adopted those immediately. We continue to. And then just this week, actually, we rolled out a new program where we can do a virtual show and tell. So, for example, if someone wants to stay in their bedroom and they want to stay away from us, we can go, you know, to the AC, the furnace, the electrical panel, wherever it may be. So maybe we're in the basement, maybe we're in the garage, and our client customer could be in their bedroom, and we can do a screen share with them. You know, it's essentially it's using Zoom, which so many people are, uh, you know, acquainted with now. So we're using that. We can show them our show and tell of what we see in their home. We can show them uh, the pricing, screen share, face to face. It's so handy, and really, it allows every type of customer from their their comfort level to, you know for us to deliver to that. All right, well, you know what? I think you guys are a great team. You're taking all those all those measures to keep we'll everybody try. safe. And if you're having any kind of issue, you know you're gonna be looking into one. This is the team to call everybody. All the info's on your screen. Wirenut Home Services, the wirenut.com for more info. Thank you, Trent. Yep, thanks for having me. Of course, this segment has been sponsored by Wirenut Home Services.